Hey guys, for Shishtar here, in today's video, we're going to show you how to connect or pair your Apple Pencil second generation with the newer iPad and also give you some troubleshooting steps if you're having issues connecting your Apple Pencil to your iPad. So let's get started. Here, as you can see here, I have the second generation Apple Pencil. Now, you're going to make sure that Apple Pencil is compatible with your iPad. So the second generation is the newer one, which is compatible on the newer iPad. If you have the first generation, of course, it's going to be compatible with the older model of iPad. So here, this is the second generation, which is different from the first generation. If you have the first generation, it's going to have like a cap here then. This one doesn't have cap. It has a flat um, side like that, which is important for our connecting. So you have to locate that flat side. So once you locate the flat side and all you do is your iPad on, on here you'll find that on the right hand side it's a magnetic side here on this iPad Air. You want to all you do is just simply take that flat side and then place it here and it's really magnetic and it will pop up just like that as Apple Pencil give you a charge as well. The other thing you also want to do is click on your settings here. If it's not working right away you want to make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. If it's not turned on you want to turn it off just like that and turn it back on. And once you have this connected, as you can see, it went from not connected to connected. That means we're connected, ready to go. And then also along on the iPad is there's the Apple Pencil setting itself. You can click on that, which will show you the charge percentage that's happening in a couple settings here. These are the default settings, but if you want to try your Apple Pencil to make sure it's working now, you can do try scribble here, and then you can try writing stuff here. So once that thing is done, you can say whatever it is you want to scribble as you can see it's working that's basically what we're trying to see that it is working and it gives you a different option as well here but that's pretty much it about connecting your Apple Pencil now if you're having troubleshooting steps like I mentioned go ahead and uh, turn on and off the Bluetooth also restart your iPad so to restart this iPad which is iPad Air 5 all I do is hold the top button here and the volume up button at the same time so I'll go ahead and hold the volume up and side button and this menu should pop up slide it to power off the other thing you can do is you can go into your settings here go to general all the way down here where it says shut down as well you can also shut it down from there and then turn it back on and then go ahead and put it over here get your apple pencil connected like that sometimes you'll notice here if your apple pencil doesn't have enough charge it won't work so you have to wait till the apple pencil is also charged up and lastly if you're still having issue what i recommend is going to your settings go to general and then software update and see if there's a software update out there for your iPad because sometimes if you have older version or the software it might cannot connect to, to the newer version of it and it's going to be compatibility issues so if there's an update out go ahead and click on download and install make sure on a good Wi-Fi and your iPad is also charged up so that it can successfully download the update this generally will take somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes if you have a big update to do but that's it for connecting your Apple Pencil. Hopefully you guys are able to connect your Apple Pencil and start using it right now. And if so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.